I wanted to do this little, quick little video because it really appears to me that there is a massive blind spot and I just wanted to be sure that I had addressed it because it was bothering me. It appears to be something that people are not seeing and it's very, very important and is going to be crucially important in the years that are coming. What this concept is, is it is the distinction between speech, as in free speech, and reach, as in free reach. There are a great many people who need to get this distinction straight. It's playing itself out in what Elon Musk is doing at Twitter right now, but what you need to understand is that he is basically, he's the vanguard of what's coming. He's basically displaying for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear the new means of control. And clearly what he's also displaying at a large scale is that people are not recognizing it and so they are going to accept it and maybe even push it forward and then it will be too late. And what you need to understand is that all systems of control work this way. Most dictators are elected in by popular action, whether that's vote, whether that's a revolution, and then what they do immediately after that is the exact people who brought them into power or the groups who voted for them, they then turn on them, and we see this over and over again in history. So what you need to understand is this, speech versus reach. Elon Musk has been speaking a lot about freedom of speech and saying, I will give you freedom of speech on Twitter. But even a month before, he announced himself that Twitter has free speech, but not free reach, or freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach, I tweeted exactly that there will still be censorship and there will be even more censorship, a greater censorship re regime on Twitter when Musk takes over, but it will move from, and I use the exact words, it will move from suppression of speech to suppression of reach. What you need to understand, this is something that people who have been activists, particularly in the anti-war movement of my generation, who were protesting against the things that happened after 9-11, they will remember that when they would issue permits for demonstrations, like for protests, they started to create things called free speech zones. So this happened in the early 2000s. It still exists to this day. And basically the idea is you can protest, but it's over there. Your protest needs to take place in a place that we have designated for your protest. And what's special about the place that they've designated? No one can hear you or see you. You have no reach. What you need to understand is that freedom of speech means nothing in the current paradigm if what you say cannot be heard. So what I want you to imagine is, what you're being offered is, I will give you free speech, but I will not give you free reach. You have to take that to its logical conclusion. And what it means is, okay, I don't like what you're saying. I'm not gonna stop you from saying what you're saying. Continue to say what you're saying. As a matter of fact, you can even say what you're saying on this platform, but what's gonna happen? Imagine a metaphorical cone of silence coming down over the top of you. And you're screaming, ah, la, 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 screaming, 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 and no one can hear you. And it goes opaque and no one can see you. You're basically in uh, the equivalent of a digital box. You're in a digital coffin buried underground screaming and no one can hear you scream, and no one can see you screaming. And this is what is being offered. And people, but people don't hear what he's saying. He's telling you what he's doing. He's being very, very open about it, but he knows that you are ignorant. This is not a negative thing. You just don't understand what he is saying. And so then he, this is, and this is how he justifies it, is that because you are saying yes, 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 that then when you finally understand that this is actually worse, then he will say, but you went along with it. You 
agreed. You said I stand with Elon. This is what you wanted. I told you what I was doing and you said you wanted it. And that will be the justification. What you have to understand is that this precedent is new and one of the reasons that it's new is to do this effectively you have to have really powerful machine learning algorithms he's going to do this by tweet to start they're developing out machine learning algorithms that are going to predict your behavior that are going to do all kinds of things and then all they need to do keep talking just no one can see you you'll never show up in anybody's feed You'll be behind several gotta click here because this may contain things that sensitive information that you don't like. The, the difference with Musk's Twitter and the old Twitter is, and the reason why he was able to fire so many people, is because it's going to be machine learning and algorithms now that are going to determine whether what you said is what should be heard and it will be very difficult the evolution of this is, part of it is, to make it very difficult for you to tell how much your reach has been diminished. That's the game. You need to understand this because it's not just going to be Twitter that uses this. Just like when search algorithms came, everybody went to search algorithms. When ranking algorithms and suggestion algorithms came, like YouTube, Netflix, etc., everybody developed those. This is the next level. And then, because he has reduced the reach, it's also on the other side to, for people to be able to pay for reach. The game is changing. You need to understand what you're asking for. You need to read the fine print of the contract that you are being offered. And you need to start speaking about this to the people who are close to you who are still in the dark about what's happening. This is a dystopian situation that is being brought in, but the vampire has to be invited in, and you are inviting them in. Stop. Think. Understand what you are being offered. Understand that this is not a messiah that you are looking at. Understand that this is someone who, at, at best, is trying to make a profit, and at worst, is trying to have a degree of control that no one on Earth has ever had before. Understand that. This is so very important. There's not a lot of time. You got to get it figured out.